What's up guys? Before we get into today's video, I have a public service announcement. It is very, 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 very important that if you like Ergo and you want the project to survive, we need your help. There is a dire situation that's happening right now and it was pointed out a long time ago. It wasn't accounted for properly by the development team, but we need to do our part to make sure that this project survives. So essentially what's happening right now is after Ethereum switched to proof of stake and we had a massive migration of hash rate onto Ergo, the way that the difficulty works is it adjusts the block times in the epochs based on the amount of hash rate on the network. And let me just read this to you. As hash rate turns off or moves away from Ergo, block times increase, thus extending an epoch. To assist short term, point hash rate towards ergo to help reduce adjustment time. Long term solutions are being discussed and modeled. So hopefully we'll have an EIP pretty soon to remedy this or come up with a solution. But basically, to summarize, when people jump off of the network, profitability tanked and as profitability tanked even more people jumped off of the network and it, it's twofold so not only does the the difficulty increase force the block times to get faster and faster but as difficulty reduces it pushes the block times out further and further it's being gained by not only us but also by large entities out there and it needs to be addressed as soon as possible but in order to give them time to address the issue we need people to point any extra hash rate that you have whatsoever towards ergo if you take a look at the difficulty right now we're getting way way down here guys and the further this drops the longer the epochs mm -hmm. are going to take and it was previously estimated that the next epoch was going to be on the 24th. Now it's the 25th and maybe as late as the 26th. So this is detrimental and I'd really like to see this project survive. If you guys, please, if you have any extra hash rate, move it over to Ergo. Let's make sure that this project survives. With that being said, let's jump into GPU mining still being profitable. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name's Jake and in today's video I'm going to show you GPU mining is still profitable. That's right, it is still profitable, but you got to know where to look and you got to have the right overclock. So I'm going to help you guys with both of those things. So if you didn't catch the last video, we talked about how to mine Radiant. Radiant is a new GPU mineable coin and the efficiency that I'm getting out of this is absolutely astonishing. So let's jump into the farm real quick. I've got four workers all mining Radiant right now. I've got a couple of rigs that are all, actually I've got three rigs that are all NVIDIA and one that is AMD. So let's take a look at the first one, Alderaan, consisting of 63070 Ti's. And look at these numbers guys, this is unreal. 708 mega hash at 77 to 86 watts and look how cool these GPU temps are and look at my fan I'm only running the fan at 70 percent here now these overclocks here yes I am running lock core at 1400 but the memory is actually locked to 810 so pay no attention to that Power limits are only set in case I need to change or I lose overclocks or I mine a different algorithm. I don't want to exceed 1400 watts total because uh, this rig is plugged into a 110 outlet. Uh, the next rig we've got is all AMD cards. This one's kind of giving me some troubles. This 5600 XT is just, it's just being difficult and temperamental. But look at this, 272 mega hash at 34 watts. Now this, I don't believe this is correct. You know, AMD's software reporting is a bit off, but showing 17 watts. Again, look at my fan speed, 63, and look how cool this thing is running. It's unbelievable. Uh, next, let's take a look at Naboo. 
which is 30 80s and 30 70s anywhere from 1 giga hash to 678 mega hash and wattage all the way down to 79 watts and a 3080 at 100 watts and look at these GPU temps just unbelievable last one Tatooine I took a couple of 5600 XT's out of this rig because they're just they're not not cooperating so uh, 3060 Ti is coming in at 560 mega hash at 64 watts a 3070 coming in at 678 mega hash at 76 watts and a 3080 Ti at 1.179 giga hash at 138 watts and a 3070 Ti coming in at 708 mega hash at 82 watts and again look at these temps so if you're not familiar with Radiant you need to check this out um, right now looks like I'm pulling in estimated coins of 8,273 a day. Now you'll notice I just started mining to this pool so this number can actually be much higher than that. It's going to take a little time but just based off of what we're seeing right here let's do some quick math. So we've got 8,200 coins times the price of Radiant right now is we'll just say 0 0.00084 and that's going to put us at six dollars and 88 cents per day in revenue and then as far as power is concerned uh, this is just what's reported in software but we're using roughly 1700 watts so we'll say 1700 watts uh, times 24 hours a day that puts us at 40,800 watts now you'll divide that by 1000 because one kilowatt hour is 1000 watts per hour that puts us at 40.8 and then my current electric rate right now is 13 cents per kilowatt hour uh, we'll just Leave that extra three there and that puts us at five dollars and thirty cents so we were at six dollars and eighty eight cents in revenue a day which gives us a profit now disregard that I did this backwards but that is a profit of a dollar fifty seven a day mining radiant currently so yes mining GPU mining is still profitable if you know where to look and right here is the place to look guys if you want more content like this do me a favor hit that like and if you haven't already hit that subscribe share this video get the word out appreciate all the help I can get with that being said hope you guys have an awesome day I'm out